Hi guys, we will have another lesson for today and that is grade 6 science, quarter 1, module 1, lesson 5, colloids and their characteristics. This is a type of mixture that falls between the homogeneous and heterogeneous or the solution and the suspension mixtures. So, colloid is in between of the two. Colloid particles may be seen in a beam of light, for example, a dust particle in air and a shaft of sunlight. Napansin nyo yung kapag gumising kayo ng umaga, uh, merong sa dingding nyo, merong maliit na butas, tapos a beam of light pass through, tapos nakita nyo yung mga dust particle na nagliliparan, only in the beam of light mo siya makikita. So yun po ang tinatawag nating colloids or yun po ang example ng colloids. There are two main parts or phases of a colloid. So first is the dispersed phase and the second is the dispersion medium. So what is the difference of the two? Dispersed phase is kung ano yung nagkalat na substance. And then yung dispersion medium is kung saan siya nagkalat. So for example, ang fog. Fog is a water droplets. So yung water droplets, yun yung dispersed phase natin kasi yung water droplets, siya yung nagkalat. And ang kanyang dispersion medium or kung saan siya nagkalat is sa air. So ang ating dispersed phase sa fog is ang water droplets and ang ating dispersion medium is ang air. So, yun ang ibig sabihin ng dispersed phase and ng dispersion medium. Dispersed phase is kung ano yung nagkalat na substance and dispersion medium is kung saan nagkalat yung substance na yun, just like fog. So, the dispersed substance or the water droplets spreads out in the air or it is called the dispersion medium. So, that's how, um, that is an example of a colloid. Fog is a colloid. Now, let's go to the different types of colloid. So, there are four types of colloid. First is aerosol. Second is foam. Third is so is or gel. And fourth is emulsion. So, let us explain the different types of colloid. Different types of colloid depends on what type of dispersion medium is and what is the dispersed substance is. Let's go with our first type of colloid. So aerosol. Aerosol is a type of colloid that has a liquid dispersed in a gas, just like fog. So fog, its dispersed phase or yung kinakalat or yung nagkalat is yung water droplet. Yun ang dispersed phase niya. And the dispersion medium is the air or kung saan siya nagkalat is sa hangin. So yun yung example ng aerosol. Aerosol spray is another example of aerosol type of colloid. It has liquid droplet as dispersed phase and air as its dispersion medium. Another example of aerosol is smoke. Just like the fog and aerosol spray, smoke has a dispersion medium of air, but its dispersed phase is not liquid or water. The dispersed phase of the smoke is solid pieces of wood, rubber, and paper. So, there are two types of dispersion medium or dispersed phase in aerosol. First is the liquid and second is the solid. So, liquid dispersed phase example is fog and um, aerosol spray, but its dispersion medium is gas. Second example is the smoke. So, smoke has a dispersed phase of solid and the dispersion medium is gas. So, that is our aerosol type of colloid. Let's go to our second type of colloid and that is a foam. This is a colloid with a gas dispersed in a liquid. Yung dispersed phase niya ay gas and yung kanyang dispersion medium ay liquid. Or yung nagkalat ay gas, saan siya nagkalat? Sa liquid. So that is a foam type of colloid. For example, is the whipped cream. When we look at closely at the whipped cream, we can see tiny air bubbles and this is what we call our dispersed substance. And the dispersion medium is the liquid cream. Foam has a dispersed phase in gas and the dispersion medium is liquid. Our next type of colloid is salt is or gels. This is a type of colloid which has a dispersed substance or a dispersed phase in solid and the dispersion medium is a liquid. For example of solids or gel are glue, paint, gelatin, blood, and gel. So those are type those are examples of solids or gel type of colloid. It has solid 
dispersed phase and has a liquid dispersion medium. So that is the so is or the gel type of colloid. The last type of colloid is the emulsion. So emulsion is a liquid dispersed phase and the dispersion medium is also a liquid. Normally, these are two substances that won't mix with each other. For example, the oil and the vinegar. So they won't mix with each other and this is called immiscible or they won't mix together. So oil and vinegar won't mix together. So ang gagawin natin para magmix sila is dadagdagan natin siya ng egg yolk para maghalo yung oil and vinegar. And this is called emulsion. So ano yung ma magagawa natin kapag yung oil and vinegar is nilagyan natin ng egg tapos pinaghalo natin sila. Ang lalabas is mayonnaise. So mayonnaise is an emulsion type of colloid. In emulsion, there is an emulsifying agent and egg yolk serves as an emulsifying agent of the oil and the vinegar. Egg yolk interacts with both liquid and stabilizes them to form into a colloid or to form into a mayonnaise. Let's go with the characteristics of a colloid. Colloid reflect or scatter light and we call this as Tyndall effect. So, gaya nga nang sabi ko na yung merong maliit na butas dun sa dingding nyo, tapos pumasok yung um, beam of light, tapos nakita nyo yung nag-scatter na dust particle. So, yun ang tinatawag natin na Tyndall effect. Tyndall effect is the effect of light scattering in a colloidal dispersion. For example, a beam of light in a fog or the sunbeams in a dusty air. So, that is an example of a Tyndall effect. Colloid particle is larger than a solution and smaller than a suspension. So, gaya nga nang sabi ko, nasa gitna siya, in between siya ng solution particle, yung size ng particle niya is in between ng solution and suspension. So, nasa gitna siya. And also, colloid particle, you can't separate it like the suspension. Para din siyang solution na hindi mo pwedeng ma-separate yung colloid substance. Kapag nag-mix na sila, hindi mo na sila ma-separate kahit na filtering pa yan or mechanical pa yan, hindi mo na siya ma-separate. So, yun yung substance niya. Recap tayo sa ating natutunan. So, there are four types of colloid. That is aerosol, so is or gel, foam, and emulsion. Aerosol, meron siyang dalawang dispersed phase. So, ang kanyang unang dispersed phase ay liquid. Ang kanyang dispersion medium ay gas. For example, fog and aerosol spray. Tapos, ang pangalawa, ang kanyang dispersed phase ay solid. Dispersion medium, gas. For example, smoke. Foam. Ang kanyang dispersed phase ay gas. Dispersion medium ay liquid. For example, whipped cream. So is or gel. Ang kanyang dispersed phase ay solid. Ang kanyang dispersion medium ay liquid. For example, glue, paint, gelatin, blood, and gels. Emulsion. Ang kanyang dispersed phase ay liquid. Ang kanyang dispersion medium ay liquid. For example, mayonnaise. That's all for today's video guys. I hope na meron tayong natutunan. And kung meron tayong natutunan, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget also to like our um, Facebook page. That is the same with our YouTube channel, Cindy the Thrifty. See you on our next video. Bye!